Hi everyone. Uh, for many years I have said that I would go and shoot some horse chestnut blossom and every year I just never get round to it. So I was out on a lockdown walk and passed a couple of horse chestnut trees so I thought this is the time to do it. I spent 10 minutes or so selecting a suitable piece from these trees and then it was back to the studio and I even had a black background in place so it was just a case of swinging a soft box round and going ahead with the shoot. So I finally did it and I thought a quick video that I'd share with you all to see the results and although not really a tutorial you will learn how I just went with three shots and my quick and simple edit of the image as well and my cropping thoughts and then finally I will show you the final beautiful print. So here we are in the studio and I'm just going to go through three things here really, checking the position of the flower and then looking at the lighting on the flower and then we'll go back to the camera and just check with the exposure. I've gone with a black backdrop here so we can isolate the flower and the leaves and that helps to also bring the whole thing forward in the image as well. The first thing you might say is let's bring that branch in from maybe the lower right hand corner but I think the diagonal of the leaves make it look much more natural and really what I'm looking for is to have it come across as it was on the actual tree itself. I'm also going to go with a square format and I think that will just enhance this kind of like contained circular motion through the whole image as well. I'm not entirely happy with the lighting so I want to go with some more top lighting. I'm going to just push that up higher towards the ceiling and hopefully get, get the light feathering down onto the flower there more and maybe just taken the exposure on those leaves as well, just back a little bit. My camera settings were ISO 100 for quality, F11 to get enough depth with those leaves as well as the flower, and then I had flash synced at 1 25th of a second. I shot three images and I just changed the light output on the flash by about two thirds of a stop on um, each side of the first exposure. So open the three images in camera raw. Here's the first exposure and here are the settings here. And the second one a bit brighter and then a bit darker from the other side. And going back to the first image, I think this is the one to use. No problems with the highlights and we want deep blacks so shadows are fine there. So zooming in to start looking at what we can do with the post-production. Got a little bit of tidying up to do with spotting later. Now checking colour balance and I'm going to just take that blue back a little bit. I always shoot in auto white balance and dial back in Adobe Camera Raw afterwards. Just checking those greens as well. Just dialing that where I think it needs. Now I am planning to put this into monochrome, but I always do a colour version first of all. That also helps just in case you change your mind and go with colour. So yeah, that looks all good, I'm happy with that. Don't need to check highlights at all, and I'm pretty happy with the shadows. And whites and blacks, so yeah, I, I've got to say, I think that's pretty good just straight out of camera there, and I'm not going to adjust anything at all. Something I don't always do a lot of, I, I usually just leave the defaults for sharpening, but because of these fine little details on the flowers, I'm going to move the sharpening up just a touch. As you can see, I've moved in 100% to do this, so I always check this at 100%. I'm not entirely happy with the edges of the leaves there, so I'm just going to dial that back just a little bit. Remember our images, we don't want them to look over sharp and as long as the detail is there, that's all that matters. Just don't overcook it. Okay, good, so just zooming out and having a little look. And I'm just gonna change the background, just get an, a feel and assessment of this image. So coming in on our one-to-one -one crop. So just keeping an eye on that diagonal and the space around the whole flower and those leaves. 
and I'm going to turn it upside down just to assess the balance. I do this quite a lot so that you get away from what the image is and we're looking at shapes and space and how everything occupies that space. And this is all about visual weight. Zooming out and that just again helps you look at the visual weight and what's going on with those spaces and the shapes. So I'm pretty happy with that. And it's worthwhile just zooming right out and just get a feel for it. It's like artists when they stand back from an easel. So I'm just going to change the backgrounds, just get a, a gain a feel for how that looks. I'm really happy with that. So let's go over to mono. Cycling through the backgrounds. I think I'm going to go for just off of the, um, the black there, so one of the darker greys. So now we're into monochrome then, I'm just having a look here at the detail. Now I'm just going to look at what colours are there, so we've got some magentas and yellows and obviously the greens, so that we can start looking at some of the black and white mix. First of all greens, see what the slider does. And I tend to push them each way quite a bit just to get a feel and then start fine tuning. The greens I'm more or less happy with, I'm not going to touch those at all. Magentas. Again, I think I'll leave those as they are. Let's take a look at the yellows. I'm just pushing those each way just to see where they are and then start assessing. Now I'm going to go in close now because these are little details with the, um, the yellow colouring. Now we can see those moving now a lot lot better. So yeah, I think we're going to go with just some, some negative, just to actually enhance those yellow areas in the monochrome. So continually assessing, zooming in and out. So just going to do some dodging and burning, and I'm just going to go on shadows here because um, there was a, the softbox in the corner there, and I'm just going to go around those edges there and make sure we are into black. Add a new brush. And then I'm going to go with exposure and I just want to take this twig a little bit further back so this is with a, uh, a large feathered brush keeping the flow down so I can build it up and just a few little clicks just to tone that back a little bit doesn't need a lot and with a new brush again, I'm just going to tone these leaves down just a little bit. Just check that with the exposure slider. And another new brush. Just make sure I can see that. And then I'm just going to delicately take the top of the flower down. I think that's just a touch too bright. So one click, just turn those overlays off so I can see that. And again, just work that slider till I'm happy with the overall feel of it. And then just gonna take a look at dodging those shadows just a little bit, just to lift it just a touch. Still want some difference going from each side. Adjusting the slider again, just to fine tune it. Do a before and after. And I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm going to go back to the hand tool. That will open up my snapshots, and I will just save that as a snapshot. And that's it, it's done. So, very little in the way of global adjustments there, just some dodging and burning, really and a little bit of movement on the yellow for the black and white mix. 
open it up in Photoshop and before I send it to print I am going to do just a little bit of spotting here and there there's some tiny marks about on the leaves and then there's a hole that I want to repair last year I printed three images for our camera club exhibition and decided to go with all on fine art paper permajet Amiga rag I use it for my abstract work but more and more I am printing my regular work on this too it has a low tooth so produces fine details and has solid matte blacks. So here is my A4 test print for analysis. I've got to say I'm happy as it is so straight to the larger print now. A beautiful print and a beautiful flower. I hope you've enjoyed the last part of this journey with me. Horse Chestnut Blossom.